Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. After trying out Nahiri as a commander in a historic brawl, I was tempted to try it out in Standard as well. So this is the main card we're building around, a 6 mana 5-4, but it has affinity for equipment. So for each equipment it gets a 1 mana discount, which means we can often play Nahiri for 3-4 mana, sometimes even for just a red and a white. So we can definitely move Nahiri down the curve here. And then it's a 5-4, saying whenever an equipped creature we control attacks, exile the top card of our library, and we may play that card this turn, so that also includes a land if we haven't played land yet, and we can cast equipment spells this way without paying their mana costs. So our deck is of course going to focus on equipment, especially equipment that come attached to a creature when they enter the battlefield, and of course the four Mirrodin equipment fit that description perfectly. Barbed Batter Fist comes attached to a 2-2 Rebel token, giving it plus one minus one, so it's a 2 mana 3-1 essentially. We've got the Hex Gold Halberd, which will give our attacking creature first strike and trample. And then there's also the Citizen's Crowbar, which comes attached to a 1-1 one, one Citizen, giving it plus 1 plus 1. And we can also get rid of the Crowbar to potentially destroy an opposing artifact or enchantment. And then at 3 mana there's the Bladehold War Whip, another 4 Meridian Equipment, giving the equipped creature double strike and also discounts other equip abilities by 1. So now we can move around our Banter Fist for free, which can be quite useful. And then we've got the Hex Gold Hover Wings at 4 mana, another payoff in an equipment deck, since every equipped creature we control will get plus 1 plus 0. And then the creature equipped by the Hover Wings itself will get flying, so it turns into a 3-2 flyer then. And then finally there's the Dragon Wing Glider, giving the equipped Rebel plus 2 plus 2 flying and haste. So 4-4 four, four with flying and haste isn't too bad for 5 mana, and we can potentially cast it for free if we exile it off the top of our library with Nahiri Forged in Fury, which does trigger for each creature that's equipped and attacking the opponent. So we can potentially trigger it several times the turn we played even, so that's why we usually want to build up our board with as many of these cheap equipment as possible, and then play Nahiri on the cheap, and then trigger it a bunch of times in the same turn hopefully netting us a ton of value. And rounding out the deck we've got some more 1 mana equipment with Core Halberd. This one doesn't come attached to a creature but only equips for 1 mana giving plus 1 plus 1 and Vigilance, so we can still play it and give Nahiri a discount and then move it around for free with the Bladehold War Whip in play. And then Rabbit Battery, an equipment creature, has to reconfigure for a red, so this one does not get the discount from the War Whip, but we can also attach it to another creature, giving plus one plus one and haste, so sometimes we can play Nahiri and equip it with the battery, and then Nahiri will enable herself basically, so that can also be quite powerful. And then our only removal in this deck is a Rebel Salvo, but we can often play it for just a single red mana, dealing 5 damage to a creature or planeswalker and make it lose indestructible as well. So this is an excellent removal spell if you're playing an equipment deck. And then last but certainly not least, two copies of Nahiri's Resolve. Now this card is awesome if we can uh, play a bunch of these for Meriden equipment and then play Nahiri's Resolve on turn 5, giving all our creatures plus 1 plus 0 and haste, and at the beginning of our end step, exile any number of non-token artifacts and our creatures we control. So we're going to exile all our artifacts, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of our next end step. So if we exile all these for Meriden equipment and the crowbar, they will come back, attack to a brand new creature. That creature also gets plus one plus two in haste and can attack right away. So in a grindier matchup where the opponent has a lot of removal for our tokens, we can simply generate a whole new batch of tokens turn after turn with Nahiri's resolve and overwhelm the opponent. Now the only drawback is that if we exile it with Nahiri and we don't have five mana available, we wouldn't be able to cast it since it's not an equipment we get to cast for free, but I think it's powerful enough that it's worth an inclusion. And this was also a card one of my Patreon supporters wanted me to try out in this equipment build, so that's that's what we're doing here. And then a mana base needs some red-white dual lands for mana fixing, so Sundown Pass and Battlefield Forge. And then we've got the Channel Lands Crucible and Iganjo giving us a tiny bit more interaction. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. Triple Halberd is uh, a lot. I guess they do get pumped by Hover Wings and eventually Resolve will be great, although two lands makes it a little bit of a sketchy keep. I think I still try it. Turn one Skrelv. Opponent on a poison deck, that's bad news. Halberd, not exactly what we were hoping for. Skrelv's hive, so they can start going wide with a bunch of 1-1s. 
At least it doesn't apply immediate pressure. Resolve is much better in a grindy matchup where there's a bunch of removal back and forth. Poison deck tends to close out games pretty quickly, especially Duelist combined with Skrelv. Crowbar can blow up Skrelv. And then now we have a white and a red creature back to potentially block. So, sure, I guess I can equip here, attack with Vigilance. And then try to trade for the Duelist. Sentry, that's too bad. Exiles our token, and now Skrelv can name White to attack past our 2-2. They did not. Keeping it back to protect their creatures, maybe? Or activating it now? Well, if they activate it on Duelist, at least we get to eat a 1-1 one -one for free. Alright, so we get to trade. Take two poison. Land is good, so... Double Halberd. Seems better than Hover Wings. And then we just need to survive until we get the uh, Nahiri's Resolve going. Opponent reconsidering their attack. Just gonna use Skrelf here, I guess. Nope. Opponent passes it back. That's awesome, so we get to play Resolve. Is that better than playing Hover Wings? I can equip Halberd or equip Crowbar to take out one of the opponent's... Uh, Artifacts or enchantments, either Skrelv's Hive or Skrelv itself. I think I would still rather get the resolve going. And then by flickering crowbar we'll get another citizen next turn that can use a crowbar successfully. And then with hover wings we represent a lot of damage. So we might have enough for lethal next turn, just need to survive this incoming attack. Putin might have the instant to make two one ones with poison. All right, resolve triggers. That's four creatures coming in next turn with haste, no less. I guess our opponent could have a Boseju to blow it up, but they've missed a few line drops, so it seems unlikely. So yeah, it's going to be Charge of the Mites, killing one creature. So we got one blocker versus five attackers. So it should still be surviving here. Rock Priest, that can provide more poison. Definitely wouldn't be targeting their stuff. So unless they target their creatures with their own pump spell. It doesn't add any poison this turn. And I'll block Skrelv. Take four. Poison up to seven. And they had a Tyvor stand for protection. Fair enough. We're still not dead. Eight poison. Resolve triggers. Four mirrored in a bunch of times. And then I can play Hoverwing. That's also haste, pumps a team. Put the Halberd on one of our creatures. And smash. Only the Rod Priest can block. Opponent is at 14, they've gained some life off Skrelv's Hive. But they should still be dead here. Awesome, a very close game against Green White Poison. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Multiple cheap equipment to set up Nahiri. Hover wings, a nice backup plan in case Nahiri gets answered. Opponent on Jetmir's Garden. Is it a multicolor domain deck? Looks like it. So that could be a tough matchup for sure. Let's lead with Crowbar. Turn 3, War Whip. And then we want to try and play Nahiri when they don't have a potential Leyline Binding available. Although Crowbar could also answer it. So Barrage to kill our token here. Not a card you typically see main decked. Okay, play War Whip. Next turn Hover Wings still makes sense. Might end up uh, playing a War Whip and Halberd before playing Nahiri just to get more creatures in play. But we'll see. Ossification deals with our token. Yeah, definitely need to get more creatures in play before we deploy Nahiri. 
and I only want to play Nahiri once I can get a few immediate triggers, otherwise it's going to be pretty sad against sorcery speed removal. I see Invasion of Alara. So that's what they're trying to do here. And a free Invasion of Innistrad takes out our token. If they transform Invasion of Alara, we're in trouble. So for now, how about another Hoverwings? Could also play War Whip. Hoverwings seems better, because then if I draw land, I can go Halberd plus War Whip, assuming it's a red source. Opponent does have another ossification in hand that we know about, of course. Another invasion of Alara. This time hitting into the fire, which is good enough to kill my creature here. And the Topiary Stomper. Okay, still no additional red source. They want to play Nahiri into ossification. So I guess it's time for War Whip plus Halberd. With the crowbar, at least, we have a way of removing the ossification to maybe get Nahiri back, but... Get a two-mana discount from the War Whip, so it's pretty easy to move our equipment around, at least. Storm the festival now. Alright. I guess that can hit the invasion of Alara as well. Another invasion of Innistrad. And another hover wings. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't feel great since our opponent's pulling further and further ahead. But I don't have much of a choice. Will they at some point try to transform their battles? The uh, stomper could help. Also, vacation. Targeting their only basic land. And Invasion of Aldrain making me discard. Alright, keep Nahiri. But a flashback storm the festival is going to be quite back breaking. They have 9 mana, so I guess they still need 1, but with a stomper they can get it. Okay. Play Nahiri. Put a bunch of stuff on it for free. If Nahiri survives, I could just hit T.420 in one fell swoop by equipping the War Whip. Opponent with another invasion of Aldrain making me discard. And Zendikar to find two lanes, but yeah, that doesn't kill Nahiri. War Whip gives the other War Whip a one mana discount, so equips for four mana. And that's 20 exactly. Well, I guess we only needed Nahiri after all. And find a free crowbar. Gotta get our value. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand is missing some payoff card, but it's got a decent early game. Halberd into another Halberd, potentially. And then Crowbar. So, pretty good draw if we pick up Nahiri. Or uh, Nahiri's Resolve could be great. Salvo's not bad either. So our opponents are red-green. Potentially black as well. And a Scrap Gorger is next. Alright, just play Batter Fist now. And then I could equip my token to it for three. Could also take out Scrap Gorger, but I'll let them keep the O3 if it means taking out something impactful later for one mana. So yeah, our board is perfect for Nahiri. Just gotta find her now. Hover Wings would also be accepted. Pumping the rest of our team. Our opponent passes with 4 mana, and there's Hoverwings, Speak of the Devil. So we can play that and attack. They might have a removal spell here, but so be it. And go for the throat. 
kill at them for four. Unless there's a second removal spell, which there seems to be. Okay. Well, now uh, Nahiri's Resolve would be one of our best draws. I guess we still need a line for it too. But that's a way to beat removal heavy decks by resetting all our equipment. Piper, we probably want to take out before it gets a chance to trigger. And there's Nahiri's Resolve. Well, we've been getting our wish, just need land now. So I can play Crowbar. Equip it with, let's say, the Halberd. Or I could equip the Flyer. Yeah, I can attack with that right now. And then just take out Piper before they can cheat something into play. Crab Gorger grows. Now, of course, a Junt Colored deck could easily have enchantment removal for Nahiri's Resolve. For now, another Piper. And there's a land for Resolve. Can certainly not complain about my draw. Is this a cutdown, maybe? Nope. Get to attack, and then end of turn, flicker everything but uh, the Halberd, and then next turn we'll get four creatures back. But Seichu, oh no, Nahiri's resolve is gone. Yeah, that uh, is one of the only instant speed answers here that they realistically would be playing. And then our opponent still gets to trade for our citizen. Alright, opponent's at seven. And we've got a five-powered flyer, next turn can make it six. So if they activate those pain lanes, they could be dead. Trespasser can give them some life back. Yeah, it's sad that we didn't get to see our Nahiri's resolve in action, but our opponent's empty-handed, so we might still get there. Piper will transform, and so does uh, Trespasser, so... Opponent's attacking, gotta take it. They will find some more creatures. And another Halberd gets us very close to lethal. A Liberator can destroy artifacts, but luckily not our creature. I guess they can destroy the hover wings, so we don't fly over anymore. So I can put the opponent to one. So close. So Liberator enters, can blow up the flying equipment. Well, this attack seems like a mistake, because now I can just go to attackers, and uh, if they use Trap Breaker on the Hover Wings, they don't have any blockers left, and if they don't use the Trap Breaker, we just fly over. So they should have left themselves with one more blocker back. And yeah, there we go, across the finish line. A very close game against uh, Junt Werewolves. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. And while we have Nahiri, we don't have any cheap equipment to go with it, so this hand feels a bit too clunky. This one, missing white mana. But I guess we'll try it. And since our draw's only gonna work if we draw planes, at that point I can get rid of a mountain. Since I don't need three mountains except for... If I'm trying to play something like Nahiri's Resolve, or maybe the Glider, found a Sundown Pass, so that's nice. Opponent blue-black with Venser, so a toxic deck. Alright, play something like Crowbar here. The next turn Hellbird, and then Nahiri on four. Hopefully, opponent doesn't get to make too many 3-3s three in the meantime. Raskas fall. Applies a poison, Venser attacks, and applies another poison. War Whip's good, so we can play that now. 2-2 two, two Double Strike, likely to eat a removal spell as well here. Another Vraska's Fall, so we're up to 4 poison now after Venser attacks. 
Well, I could play Nahiri, but I'm not going to be able to trigger Nahiri, so I think Halberd makes more sense. Then I can play Resolve and make a bunch more tokens and equip this in the meantime. And yeah, Serum Snare bounces my token, which is just as good as killing it. Proliferates as well, so now Venser triggers, makes a 3-3. So yeah, pretty great start from the blue-black deck. But they seem tapped out, so Resolve is going to resolve. Won't be able to make any blockers right away, but then on the following turn we'll be able to re-trigger for Mirrodin a bunch. And then Nahiri is going to be quite nice. Right, let's see if we survive. If our opponent can proliferate three more times or apply poison, we could still be dead. Prologue, that's one poison. So we're essentially at eight poison now. Augury up to nine. So a one mana proliferate and we're dead. Token gains flying. But we get to untap. Okay. Find another Nahiri. Well, just gonna play Nahiri, attack and pray. That we exile more useful stuff. I'll keep Nahiri back on defense since we have another one, so I don't mind if it dies. Okay. Not bad. Get to play two more equipment for free, although if our opponent can just proliferate, we're still dead. So not loving my chances. But uh, we gave it a shot, so we can flicker our equipment again. Now let's see if we're dead. Yeah, prologue will do it. All right, too bad. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Obviously missing red mana, but we only need a single red source, and then our hand is quite powerful. So the fact that we're on the draw and get an extra draw step makes me want to keep. There we go. Definitely have more red sources and white in the deck as well. Turn to Scrap Gorger. Can play Batter Fist, which at least attacks into the O3. Next turn War Whip can also move the Batter Fist around for free. Shakedown heavy. Alright, so put in maybe a fight rigging deck, so I might have to pivot and use Rebel Salvo. And we found another red source, so now it's easier to play Halberd and keep up Rebel Salvo. Could just take the heavy out right now, so I can also attack for three, which is probably worth it. Opponent with a tail swipe. Wow, this is a huge blowout. Take out Shakedown heavy, keep our creature. They certainly did not see that one coming. And uh, yeah, the Flash Gorger also makes a lot of sense in a fight rigging deck, since you could potentially cast a 7 mana side for free. And Bushwhack to search up a basic. Could have fought or 2-2, two -two, but didn't. So I could play Nahiri, but I kind of like playing Hover Wings, which lets me attack with both creatures into the Flash Gorger, adds another equipped creature for Nahiri, and also gives it a discount. And then next turn I could play Battery, play Nahiri, and if I draw a red source even equip Nahiri to trigger it four times instead of three. Putin might have to hang back with the Flash Gorger. Alright, there's a fight rigging so they can make it a 4-4. So they might just uh, get in for four to gain that life back right away. But nope, opponent hangs back. Okay, did not find a red source, but uh, can play Batter Fist and a two mana Nahiri. And then I may not want to attack with a three two on the ground since that one gets eaten alive by the Flesh Gorger. Get to attack, two triggers. 
finding lanes, which we can still play, and a banter fist, which we can play for free. Opponent's contemplating a trade here. Okay. So I'm liking my chances. So I can play a battery. Play free batter fists. Okay, opponent found a Phyrexian Obliterator, so that was the card they were combining with all those fight effects. But yeah, it's not going to be enough to survive, and if we get to untap and uh, attack with a team, that's at least six Nahiri triggers, which is going to bury the opponent in card advantage. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems keepable. Definitely need another land or two, but uh, turn two Halberd, turn three War Whip. Can maybe play Battery the same turn we play Nahiri on turn four. Opponents are red-green. And for now, just play another Halberd. Volcanic Spite answers our 2-2. At least the equipment's still in play to discount Nahiri. And at 4 Toughness, this one's harder to take out with another Volcanic Spite. Alright, find our land. So hit for 2, play War Whip. And the next turn, it's go time with Nahiri, play battery first, and hopefully get two triggers. Invasion will wipe our board, that's too bad. So now I'm hoping for an unsapped land so I can equip Nahiri with a battery, and there we go. So play battery, Nahiri costs two mana, player equip with battery, which will still cost the red mana since it's not actually an equip ability that gets a discount from the war whip. But it means we can attack for six and trigger. Finding a free hover wings, that's pretty much the best case scenario. I guess uh, another glider could have been better, but hover wings is pretty much uh, the same power level here. Alright, so after getting our board wiped, we recovered very nicely with Nahiri. Warcrafting a fitting answer. But the damage has been done. Yeah, opponent packs it in. Can play our fist and give it haste, or play another hover wings, and that does it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand is a little bit on the pricey side with Nahiri's Resolve, only two lands, but I gotta keep. We've got some of our best cards here with the War Whip on three, and then a bit of removal with Salvo, and of course Nahiri. So third land would be quite nice here. Then we can play War Whip and move the Batter Fist. Opponent seems to have a removal spell. But we're gonna wait and see. Hybrid is next, so opponent a proliferate deck. So don't really want to trade for the hybrid if I can help it. Want to set up Nahiri first. And uh, I'll wait to move my equipment since our opponent might have the minus one, minus one proliferate. So I don't want to make a double strike creature with only one toughness. Void wing attacks. So we can attack back. And yeah, they might have had the one mana removal spell on turn one, but didn't want to play it until after applying a poison. Drew the lanes, so now I get to play Nahiri, attack and trigger twice. Already played land, but we get a free crowbar, so that's excellent. If I draw a land next turn, I could play Nahiri's Resolve to keep making more and more tokens. But uh, might be time to fire off a Rebel Salvo. The hybrids attack. Up to three poisons, so they could play a one mana draw two now. Maybe a Drown and Icker on Nahiri. That's too bad. Alright, time for Nahiri's Resolve then. Can attack for quite a lot of damage, and now I can move the batter fist onto the double striker so it hits for more. And our opponent has seen enough. This is already just lethal by itself. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Good mix of cheap equipment, some removal, hover wings as a payoff, 
and up against what could be a defender deck. So looking forward to this matchup. Having hover wings to fly over is going to be key, although opponent does play that uh, four drop that makes a bunch of birds. Turn to Coral Colony could also mill us to death. And there's Nahiri, that's an exciting draw. Okay, so play Halberd. Still hoping for another cheap equipment that comes attached to a creature ideally. So we can set up uh, three mana Nahiri. And drawbridge. Okay, so for now, can equip and keep up Salvo. And then uh, might want to take out the Coral Colony. Bulwark could also be effective. Although this one they can only use as a sorcery. The drawbridge could also tap a creature down. Alright, so opponent's blocking with Colony. I guess we'll just take it out and trample over. So our opponent's going to mill us on the way out. Alright, not the worst. Could also decide to play Hover Wings before playing Nahiri, just to make it cheaper and give us more creatures to enable it in the first place. Also, Vacation answers our token, so definitely gonna Hover Wings now. And another Bulwark. Okay. Might even play second Hover Wings first. One card left for the opponent, they could start beating us down with the Bulwarks as well. For now we get to untap, so they're planning to use Drawbridge to tap our creature down. So, just play another Hover Wings. Can move to attackers. Opponent will tap down our 4-2, and then I'll move Halbert onto the second Rebel. Hoping we get a nice attack in with Nahiri here. Another ossification, yeah, and uh, drawbridge means I don't actually get to attack and trigger Nahiri yet, but our opponent's also not damaging us in the meantime, and there's a rebel salvo. Okay, so I guess uh, salvo the drawbridge, opponent will activate it, and then we know the coast is clear for Nahiri so we don't run into a counter spell. And then we can suit up Nahiri as much as possible. I guess, uh, let's see, Hover Wings for flying makes sense. One card left in hand. Is it the Shepherd making bird tokens? That one could be effective, but nope. Opponent explodes. Would get to hit the opponent for 11 at least, maybe 12 if we equip Halberd. And then two Nahiri triggers also likely to carry us to victory. Awesome. Alright, so we get to see our Nahiri equipment deck in action, and while it's not going to be a main competitor for the ranked ladder, it's a pretty fun deck to play if you get to trigger Nahiri, and Nahiri's Resolve going off is also a ton of fun, and should also be very cheap to put together in paper, since a lot of the cards from uh, Aftermath tend to be pretty cheap. So yeah, that'll do it for today's gameplay, want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.